Um, I have to be honest and say that I'm a very lucky woman. Um, my husband's been very supportive from the get-go. Um, when I told him that I wanted to do this, he knows that I'm a very headstrong woman. And when my mind is made up, it's made up. And um, he was there every step of the way. So much so that he even did the pre-op diet with me because he refused to eat in front of me. How many and pounds did you lose? I ain't even been on the scale yet. I, I, need to. I was like, I'm just waiting to see. <laughs> People, a lot of times they want you to be um, vulnerable to them. Um, and I'm lucky that I have a husband who does not expect that of me. He wants me to be happy and healthy. And he understands that doing this, is, is it is for my health, but it's also so that I can feel good about me. So I can look in the mirror and be proud of what I see. Um, I haven't always been overweight, and when we met, I was not overweight. So he's, he's known me that way, and he's known me this way. And I believe that he would say that he did like the confidence and stuff that, he, that I had when he, we first got together uh, more than the way I have been over the past few years, always in pain, joints hurting, uh, not having the energy, being irritable. Um, and then constantly downing myself. Oh, I'm fat. I don't look good in colors. Uh, you know, just all of the different things that women say to belittle ourselves. And we eventually, it tears us down to a point that we're at our lowest. And the whole time, he was very supportive. He told me I was beautiful no matter what. But that when I was ready to do this, he was right there. And he has been, so. And I was determined to be here. I didn't care if I lost my job or anything. I told my job that I'm going to Mexico with my wife, you know, to support her and make sure she's safe, happy, and healthy. And nothing else mattered. You know, it was my job to be here as a husband and just as her best friend. So.